this lesson in this lesson we're going to take a look at how to create a react application and integrate and design library or the undesigned components uh, into our react application so let's get right into it let me open the terminal here and uh, go ahead and create uh, the application the react application so there are several ways to create a react application i'm going to use the yarn create um, react app and then the name of the app that is contact contact app well you can also use npx create react app uh, to create uh, an application um, i'm going to show you how to do that uh, is is slightly different from yarn so npx so nps comes with npm if you have the latest version to so npx create react app so you see that there is a dash here there is no space with a yarn um you have a create then space then react app but with a npx you don't have any space and you can create a, a npx app uh, react app. Let me just do it so that you see it works. React app. Yeah, so you see it's working. Let me just cancel it. Yeah, so if you don't have Yarn installed and you have NPM, the latest version, you should have NPX and you can use this to create your React application. But I am using NPM, uh, sorry, Yarn. So I can just do yarn create space react app and then the name of the app now that we have it created let's cd into it and open it uh, in our code editor so i'm using a visual studio code all right mm. it seems like there's a problem okay let me quit everything and open it again all right and there we go so we have our react application up and running now how do we integrate um, ant design library the uh, react component it's react components okay let's check it out uh, and D. So if you don't know what Ant D or Ant Design Library is, it's, it's kind of a, a design specification that comes with a component for your React application, for Angular application, and also for Vue. But we are going to use React. So how do you um, in, integrate it into our React application? Well, the first thing we have to do is to install the uh, Ant D library itself. So Yan add ant d we are going to uh, use a uh, react uh, app rewired library so we can uh, hook into the, the webpack uh, configuration and make some changes to it without ejecting the application itself so let's uh, install react app rewired and that's what it will do for us right app rewired it will help us to hook into the uh, react applications uh, webpack configuration and make changes without ejecting because if you want to make changes to the webpack itself add do some additions and subtractions or modification you have to eject but rewired will help us do it without ejecting so we have that installed there are a couple of other libraries to we will add now because uh, ant design um, library is is built that is built using uh, less we have to install this and then we have to install less uh, loader now the less loader is where it becomes tricky there is uh, some breaking changes in the less loader version um, 6 so we are going to stick to version 5 for now. 
when uh, there is an update to how we can use the version 6 in Ant. Uh, when, when it comes up, uh, I'll, I'll let you know. When I figure out a way to use the uh, 6, I'll, I'll let you know. But we are going to stick with the less loader version 5. So less and then less loader. Um, think so we have less we have less builder version 5 we have react app rewired also installed we have andy also installed there is one other library we will also uh, add which is customize CRA so it help us to customize our create react app so we add that as well yes and there is one other there is a plugin that we have to also install um, when you check out the documentation, uh, the plugin's name is the Babel import uh, plugin import. So we will add that. So in all, we are adding about six uh, modules here, six of them. So take note of that. But the one I want you to take note is that uh, with the uh, let's load that we are using the version 5 instead of version 6 and that will also uh, mean that our configuration will be a little different from how the version 6 configuration will be so when you check out the package.json file you can see that we have the anti-d the barbell plugin imports customize here let's let's load that and then the rewired or here so we have them installed so what next now uh, we have to add um, our config override uh, config override file so let's oh, let me just create it uh, so config overrides.js that is what will help us to uh, override our web pack uh, so what I would do is this there is uh, uh, a template here which uh, has everything that we are doing right into it but there is a problem when you clone and you install and you start it there is a problem it has to do with the Babel uh, loader that I was talking about so as at this time there is a, a problem with it and um uh there is there is a there is an issue that has been raised regarding that uh, but there is nothing about it yet so we are sticking to the loader version 5 for now but when you check out the config override we can copy what is in here and paste but you see this less options here yeah, this is less loader six this is how you pass options to your less loader uh, less options but with the five you don't use that you rather pass it directly to the add less loader we are not going to need this modifier bars to modify our less variables so I think that's it so let's fire it up and see if it works for us okay so yeah, let me all right so yan starts and our react app should be created now after it's done creation uh, sorry seven and everything works fine we will okay so everything works fine so what we will do is we're going to add a, an undesigned component and see if it works so we're going to go into our app component here and take off that portion and then add a button so let's say add and then type 
is equal to primary. So let's make it a primary button. And so you see, we it, it's imported from Andy. Let me add an icon there. Eh? And we're going to say plus. I hope I'm right. All right. So it's compiling. Oh. All right. Okay, it's done compiling. Okay, so, so so there is a problem. Hmm. Let me see. Add and see. It seems like ant is not working. Yeah. So the reason why it's not working is because we need to change something here. So you see this React script. We have to change it to the React app rewired. So React app rewired before. So it's rather use a React app rewired and then make use of our configuration here before it works. So let's cancel it and start it again. And this time it should work. All right, so it, it works. Let me change the icon again let's say plus and let's see if that one works nah it's not working let's go to the documentation so ant d let's go to the one for react and let's check out the component so when we look at the button component how do we add an icon so all right there is oh, okay 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 so we have to actually import the icon component and then pass it i guess that's what i'm doing wrong okay yeah so let's change that so icon and then we will pass the component itself so where is where can we find the icon? So the icons are found in Ant Design Icons. This, okay. Do we have that installed? Let's see. So and yeah. So when we installed the Ant Design uh, module, it added it to it. So we're going to import our icon from the Ant design icons here yeah. and uh, the name is going to be blah. let's see whether it's available so we have plus we have plus how that we have plus cycle field square field let's use the square field and pass that all right it seems like there's a okay so i have to do from yeah okay so it's compiling let's check it out all right so it's done compiling let's see okay there is a problem you yeah so i didn't pass it well i have to pass it like uh declaring um a component itself yeah so that is it uh, let's change the component, the icon. Let's make it plus. Uh, let me see whether they have add. Yeah, they don't. So plus. Um. So plus cycle field. Let's see how that looks like. Okay. All right. So that is it for this version. So our integration of anti design. Um, library into our react application works so in the next lesson we will start uh, by adding tests and also uh, adding uh, another component that is the drawer component where when we click the add it will bring a drawer uh, from the right side open a drawer from the right side where we can add our inputs and start adding our contact but the focus of uh, the next lesson will be 
uh, tests. Tests. All right.